Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be a you versus them love reading for my dearest Sagittarius. Sagittarius, I'm going to read your energy on the left, your person's energy on the right, and then we're going to see what's happening between you right down the middle. Now at any point in time, feel free to swap the energies that I may be picking up on. And I also urge you to play with time. This could be a past connection, a current situation, or an energy moving towards you in the next couple of weeks. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's see what clear messages, advice, and guidance come through for my dearest Sagittarius for their highest and greatest good. Wow. Okay. So we have the five of pentacles in reverse showing up. You're viewing your person as Gemini energy, the lovers. And we have the Knight of Swords. Okay, Sag. So remember that you can play with time here. But it looks like you're seeing someone as finally the one, right? Someone you really want to move towards. You really want to move things along with. The Five of Pentacles in reverse is an energy of coming out of the cold. So like meeting that person that just makes you feel like seen and heard and that much less alone. And... Excuse me, you're viewing this person as the lover's card, so definitely a strong soulmate connection. Your person is showing up as the Ten of Wands in reverse. They could have Sagittarius placements. Wow, this is somebody new, Sag, that's viewing you as, like, there's so much potential here. And they're viewing the connection as magician energy in reverse. They might be doubting that they have everything that it takes to make you happy. Because I this person, definitely, they've been releasing some burdens. They're ready for a fresh start. But um, it feels like, you know, maybe they've been through a lot. They've been through a divorce or a separation or maybe some financial difficulties. So they might be seeing like, oh, maybe I don't have everything, you know, Sag needs. But I think it's normal to have a little bit of a lack of self-confidence when something new and something really awesome is like on your plate. I'm also getting this as a Mercury retrograde um, connection. So that's coming up or we're already maybe even in Mercury retrograde. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised. I've been having so many weird little setbacks myself. So we probably already are. Um, but check my dates. I'm doing this reading on the 2nd of April. But really it's a timeless reading. Um, okay, so it looks like they're coming around now. All right. Um, but they might be worried that they don't have everything it takes here. Yeah, we see the death card. So, so this person might be ending something. Maybe you are, but I kind of get this is more like a transformative connection than like any sort of ending. High Priestess in reverse. Ooh, this person I think is like, maybe they tend to be a little bit pessimistic, but this is, this feels like a secret admirer, someone who's ready to like confess their true feelings to you. And we get the full card, Aries energy. So ready to take a leap of faith. I think you both are. I really feel sad if you don't know who this person is, they're coming in in the next couple of weeks. And the Four of Cups. Yeah, this is going to be a surprise invitation, a surprise love offer. A lot of my Saggies, you're kind of just doing your own thing. Maybe you've, you know, lost a little hope or faith here in love. But I do see with the Four of Cups here that you are, you're going to be surprised. You're absolutely going to be surprised. Well, these are really cool messages. I'm so excited to do this reading. All right, so let's see. The Five of Pentacles in reverse tells me this is your energy. You've been holding back. Yeah, just doing your own thing, working working on your, you know, your house, your home, your finances, your physical appearance. Okay, and we get the nine of pentacles. Yep, that's you. You're looking good. You're feeling good. But you're definitely, I'm connecting with those of my Saggies out there who are single. And you've been, you've been looking, but you are also just really focused on you. I love that. You're in a really healthy energy, Venus and Virgo. You're viewing your person as the lover's card, Gemini energy, and the five of cups. So maybe some of you, when you meet this person, one, it's going to be a shift in your perspective or your focus, like your focus shifted. And I feel like maybe your focus even shifted away from love and boom, in comes this person. Like you're just much more focused on you, your health, your wellness, kind of in a more of a chill state, if you will. Now, you may also be seeing your person as this five of cups as in they've lost something. And that's definitely a possibility. Maybe they, you know, maybe they had to move out of a home that they really loved or move away from a job or something like that. Or they've been through a divorce or a separation. But you're you're seeing this connection moving forward and moving forward quickly. Like, I feel like you're not confused at all about what you want here. And the ten of swords in reverse, you're ready for this new beginning. You are so ready for this new beginning. And like, it's for both of you. You both have been through a lot and it's like, ah, oh, finally we found each other. Ten of Wands energy in reverse tells me that 
this person, they're ready, they're passionate, they're ready for a new beginning, but not just with anyone. Like, I feel like it's kind of a surprise for both of you that you're falling in love, that you've met each other and the eight of cups energy in reverse. Yeah. Your person's been a little bit like dazed and confused when it comes to love, because whatever this 10 of wands is, it's taken up all of their time. It's taken up all their energy. The 10 of wands is definitely, they've been, you know, they've been releasing burdens, um, but they, they're still kind of there. I feel like they're a little bit dazed and confused if you will, when you meet them, it doesn't mean that they're like a little bit off or they're dim or anything like that, but I just feel they've been through something. They see so much potential with you. The ace of pentacles, they see, they see something solid and secure in the eight of pentacles in reverse, but they also see you as very refreshing. And that's that full energy, something new, something refreshing, something different than what they're used to different from them you know, just different from the norm. I love that. And with the magician energy in reverse, so I do think they're a little bit hesitant or a little bit worried here, Sag, that they have everything that you need. Yeah, because I do feel this person has been sorely disappointed in love with the Ace of Cups in reverse. So they might be a little bit worried. Um, you know, I, I feel like you're completely ready. I feel like there might be something here that this person worries that they're not quite ready. Now, obviously they could be like a widow or a widower, um, but it just kind of feels more like whatever this 10 of wands is, maybe it was a move or maybe it was just, you know, maybe they had to shut down a business or they, something here has been quite heavy for them. Um, and possibly even the loss of a loved one here with the death card for sure. So I do feel like you kind of meet this person, Sag, when they're in a transitional phase and we see the justice card in reverse. Some of you, they've been, you know, it is a divorce, um, some of you, and this is a little bit random, but I, it may resonate with some of you. Some of you, they've recently gotten out of jail. Okay. Um, but I'm seeing here with the justice card in reverse, um, this person may sometimes come off as a little bit aloof or detached. Um, and that's because of this ending. Some of you, they didn't want to get involved with anybody because they've been so heartbroken in the past. Um, at the center of the reading, we have the high priestess showing up in reverse, which can lend itself to a bit of pessimism or escapism, but it's coming in in the shared energy. So I really feel more than anything with the high priestess in reverse. I think this person's going to reveal secret feelings, or maybe you're ready to reveal your secret feelings for this person. And we see the six of wands. There's definitely potential for victory and success here within this connection. Um, but it is going to take, you know, revealing true feelings, whether it's you or them or coming out of the shadows, letting each other know how you're feeling, that you're ready for this. And spirit saying with the, with the full card here, it's about taking that leap of faith and we see the seven of swords. Yeah. And also, you know, the seven of swords just to me, I'm not reading it as something like sneaky or like deceitful here at all. I feel more than anything. It's just about taking a look at anything that's been draining your time or your energy or your love or your money or your resources and really like, you know, making, making some changes. And we have that opportunity to do that reflection during Mercury retrograde. But I feel that's mostly your person's energy. Like they're in this transitional phase um, and we see the knave of pentacles, but there's something new here. There's something new that spirit's saying, you know what, it's time to take this leap of faith and slow and steady wins the race. We get a lot of doom and gloom about Mercury retrograde, you know, starting relationships at this time. And maybe it's not the best astrological transit to start a relationship, but it doesn't mean that you can, and it doesn't mean that it won't be successful, but you know, just take it slow. Um, the Knave of Pentacles tells me you might be getting a gift. It feels like this is a gift from the universe, and it feels like it's for both of you, to be honest, like you are each other's gifts. All right, so we have stabbed in the back. This is in your energy, so I feel like you have definitely been, you know, you've been hurt, you've been disappointed when it comes to love, and this is going to be a new phase. It's going to be a transformation. Now, for a select few of my Sagis, this could be the return of a past person. But truthfully, the energy I'm getting is that this person is brand new. And I kind of feel like they're the ones going through a transformation. I think you might have already experienced this. And this might really bring you two together that you can, you know, talk to each other about this. You may connect on that level, having been through similar things when it comes to love. Yeah, your person's ready to stop a pattern. Um, I, I think they've abandoned someone or someone or something has abandoned them, but I, I feel like they're in a good place. Although, again, I do kind of get this like a little dazed and confused from whatever that 10 of wands is. You know, they're still kind of feeling it, whatever that ending is. And this person, most likely some of you are going to meet this person online. Okay, because we get this photograph like missing, like, like 
oh, sorry, looking at your photos. But for some of you, this might be somebody you're, you're absolutely, um, have dealt with or are dealing with. Okay. So the, it could be a breakup or separation, but like I said, intuitively Sag, I'm feeling like it's this person that is, maybe they're still a little bit nostalgic, but they're ready to kind of let that go and they're ready for something new. And you are that something new, but we're not going to cross off the fact that it really could be somebody that you're dealing with or you're on the outs with. Um, there's definitely some outdated thinking. There's a lot of overthinking here. Um, maybe on your part, maybe on theirs, but mm, yeah. Let's see. What else do my Saggies need to know about this person, please? All right, so an addiction. Okay, so that could be in their past and non-committal. Yeah, see, I, what I'm getting in my readings, addiction, obviously it can be drugs and alcohol. It can be gambling. It can be sex. It can be anything, right? But to me, it's whatever this person needs to get out from under. And it has something to do with their past. But it does look like there's some distortion around them because of that. And they might, they need to with this ax in the photograph, like stop the pattern, let go of the past. Um, and it might be keeping them in a non-committal energy. So again, we're just getting a little heads up there. Some of you, this person is self-employed. Some of you, they were self-employed and they may have had to, you know, close down a business or something. And, and again, that might be something that they're, oh, they're still really, really struggling with here. So just, just be aware of that. Okay. But I, I still feel like spirit showing you that there's this new phase here and this is going to take you by surprise and, you know, slow and steady wins the race. Just, you know, make Make some, you know, good assessments here about whether or not you want to deal with this person. If you want to have their energy around you, are they, are they good for you? Do they meet you halfway? But I, I do feel like you you see very clearly like, yes, I'm ready for this. This feels good. Um, so we see dreams. So pay attention to your dream messages right now, Sag, and putting thoughts in my mind. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually getting that you're going to have some pretty prophetic dreams coming up, Sag. Okay, so pay attention to that because I, I feel there are messages about this person or about your love life or any blockages that you might have that are going to be really key, really powerful for you. And I want marriage. So I can see here you're definitely looking for something solid and secure. So again, make sure that this person, you know, um, can give you that, right? Or you can see that with this person because we do see non-committal and addiction so, you know, they need to be definitely committal. So definitely take a look at that. But to be honest, I kind of feel like this is what they're releasing. I really do. I feel like this is what they're releasing. They're stopping a pattern here and they're letting go of something unhealthy that was keeping them like in this non-committal energy. Let's see. Clear messages, advice, and guidance reconsider and improvise. So when you come to a roadblock, take a detour and see it as an opportunity to experience new things in life. Yeah. And some of you, you might be in the midst of that detour here with this person or this connection. All right. For some of my Saggies, you are a major detour for this person, one that was quite unexpected. Um, and they might be in this process of improvising, reconsidering, reworking things. And we have rising crescent. It's time to set a new goal or dream a new dream. You don't have to leave your comfort zone, just expand it. I feel like this is about setting intentions. And I feel like for a lot of my Saggies, your intention here is I want marriage. You want commitment. And, and for some of you, reconsider and improvise. Some of you, you're kind of reworking what's really important to you in relationships. That's going to be important, like really getting clear about what are the most important qualities for you in a relationship. Because I feel some of you have gone through something pretty heavy and you, I feel like you're in this beautiful single energy and I feel like maybe your priorities have shifted a little bit and just acknowledge that, be aware of it. And spirit saying, shine your beauty, let others do and say what they will, keep, go, keep doing good, resist the temptation to dim your light to become as dark as those, those that oppose you. Again, I don't feel like there's a whole lot of opposition here, Sag. I just feel like this is about recognizing your beauty and your worth and running your own race and you're going to attract like-minded people and you're going to attract similar energy. Um, so just, you know, so, so be aware of that. To me, I feel the energy is pretty good, but again, you do want to really take a look and see if this person, you know, wants the same things as you, you know, have they gotten out from under any sort of bad behaviors or have they really left this difficult cycle behind? Are they in, in a place of, of being healed or healing and balance? 
Um, I'd, I'd be so interested to know how this resonates with you. Let me know in the comment section down below um, if these messages do resonate. Um, and don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, check out the description box for ways you can get a private reading or if you like the cards I'm using, or if you want to follow me on TikTok and Instagram. Love and light, Sagittarius. Take care.